So this is the second version of the Owl Stabs. It comes in two different sizes, 100% and 80%, and each size comes in two different colors. One of the neat things about the Owl Stabs is that it's made from liquid metal. And what that means is that you do not have to wire balance these. But other than that, let's get into how to assemble these stabilizers. Here's everything that you get. All the wires, the stems, and the housings are in one package. And then you have this extra package which has the backing, shims, cushions, and the screws. This is the stem, and you just want to loop the outside of the stem on both sides. What I like doing is I like going from the back with the closed side, so you can see this side up top, it's closed, but when you flip it, the side is open. I like going from the closed side, since this opening is bigger, using my brush with a little bit of blue and just brushing it a little bit. You can also use a syringe to quote plug the butt, and let me show you how that's done. The lube I'm using is 205 grade zero, in case you're wondering. So using a syringe with a little bit of 205, what you want to do is you want to just go in the small hole and add just a little drop. You want to add just a little drop like this. This is called the housing, and you want to loop the inside of this on both sides. So like this. Here's how you put it together. You want to find the closed back on the stem and the closed back on the housing and you just put the stem into the housing like this. Alternatively, you can find the side with the two open sides, find the open side on the housing and align it this way as well. Like this. Now that you have one side done, you just repeat this process on another one. So now that you have two done, let's move on to the wire. So for the wire, you can use either 205G0 or you can use BDZ. I personally like using BDZ, but I only add a thin layer and I stop where the hooks on the housing make contact with the wire, which is just about right here. Like this. I'll make sure to loop this all the way around and evenly. And then not too much on the side. Now you want to take this wire and the assembled stem and housing and if you look closely there's actually a there's a top and bottom hole you want to put it in the bottom hole so take your wire put it into the bottom hole it should go in like this once your wire goes all the way in it should rest on the hook and going the opposite way, you want to push and push slightly down and it should just clip right in, like that. And then you can test to see if you did this correctly by moving this up and down. If you didn't put the stem in correctly, this would not move up and down. And then repeat on the other side. So going back, what's included, you have these shims, cushions, the backings, and screws. These shims are used for thinner PCBs, so once you've put your stabilizer on, 
if it's not fully flush, this is what you can use the shims for. And they're sticky like a sticker, and I'll show you how to put them on. So you want to do is you want to go ahead and peel it off like this. And then you want to just line it up with the stabilizer holes. It doesn't have to be precise like this. And just push it down. And then you just repeat it on the other side. As I said earlier, this is not mandatory unless you have a thinner PCB. So if your stabilizer does not sit flush once you've put it on. So they've included these in case that ever happens. So like a sticker, you just want to line it with the holes. Like that. Now to assemble this, what you want to do is you want to find the bigger hole. And that's where the hooks go in. So what you want to do is hook it in. And then push the side in. So it should stay in place. Kind of like this. And then make sure to push this in. Flipping this over, you see the hook is right here. And this is where you would screw it in. So in the little baggie comes with these plastic backings right here. You want to align the hole with the screw hole. And then you want to take the screw, take a screw, just align it like this. And then using a screwdriver, you just want to screw it in. Like that. And then repeat on the other side. So take a backing, align it, take a screw, and align it with the backing, and then screw it in. And it should be secure now. So the last thing in this kit that we haven't talked about are the cushions. So owl stabs are liquid metal wires, which basically means that um, you don't have to wire balance and you shouldn't be bending them. If you do have ticking after lubing it and assembling it, Owl Labs provides these cushions these L-shaped cushions that you can put underneath the wires to reduce any ticking or rattling you may have. So how this works is you see this thinner side. All you do is you slide this underneath the wire. So the thinner side goes underneath the wire. And you just push it in like that. And you can also use it for the space bar but what you want to do is you want to take the cushions and you want to evenly distribute it. So one side right there, one right here, one right here, and one right here. You want to make sure it's spaced evenly. Like that. Alright, and that's how you assemble owl stabs. Hope this helped you out and thanks for watching. <laughs>